Last month, we introduced you to one of our community partners, Walker, and we had Darren Fry, Project Director for the Environmental Division, visit us in studio. He in turn invited us to visit the Walker Compost Facility in Thorold to find out how items in your household green bin and yard waste get composted. Let's take a look. This is where we take food waste from homes all across Niagara and we turn that food waste into compost. We process about 65,000 tons of material throughout the year and that includes both food waste and leaf and yard waste. What's happening behind you right now? The truck is dropping off some yard and leaf waste. Why is it kept separately? Yes, this facility is operated in partnership with the Niagara Region, and so this is a Niagara Region collection truck that's been out on its route today collecting leaf and yard materials. It's, it's late fall, and they're now bringing that material to the site so we can begin to prepare that for the composting process. It gets mixed in with the other parts of the compost separately, the food waste? That's correct. We manage a number of different types of organic materials here at the site, including food waste, so green bins from homes all across Niagara, leaf and yard waste like we see behind me, and seasonal materials like pumpkins um, or Christmas trees just after Christmas. We use a lot of technology here to um, constantly monitor and control the composting process. We want to make sure that the moisture, the temperature um, and other things are, are controlled throughout that process. So we can turn food waste and leaf and yard materials into an end compost in about 12 to 14 weeks. Walker also operates a composting and packaging facility in Arthur, Ontario. Both locations have the same end goal when producing a quality product. So what you see here is high quality compost. Um, it comes from the food waste that the residents put in the green bin program. And compost is really extremely important for all of us because it's a source um, for almost all of the plant's nutrients as well as the energy uh, source for the soil organisms. And so we take great pride in making um, high quality compost product that we know will go back into the soil um, to close that loop on nutrient um, cycle. Once the food waste is picked up at the curbside, it's brought to this facility, where does it begin its journey? So the collection vehicles arrive at the facility. They um, unload inside a receiving building. The recipe is key. Um, we need to make sure that we are creating optimal conditions for the microbes um, to do its job, composting job. We add bulky material to the food waste. We add uh, all the water to keep the microbes happy. And so that mixture then gets ground up, mixed, um, and then we fill our gore cover system technology uh, where we manage the odors. So after the six weeks process, we then screen that material um, and remove any non contaminants, any woody material to ensure that we have the highest quality uh, product. After that, we test it um, to make sure it passes stringent environmental and Ontario compost quality standards. And after that, we sell it as category AA uh, compost. You're undergoing an expansion at this site right now, right as we speak, to accommodate the fact that composting has picked up since the region went to bi-weekly garbage collection. That's correct, and I believe um, participation rates or use of the green bin here in the region increased by about 24 to 30 percent since um, the bi-weekly collection program started, and so we've expanded um, the facility to provide more ability to compost that material. Darren, why is it really important that the average everyday citizen, every household, puts that green bin at the end of their driveway every week? Yes, using your green bin is really important for a number of reasons, and let me tell you why. First, um, composting returns nutrients back to the soil so that new plants can be grown and, and really start that process all over again. Number two, compost stores carbon in the soil, which helps fight climate change. And lastly, composting uh, reser reserves landfill space and, and keeps that landfill space for materials that can't be recycled or reused. We'll continue our look at Walker next month with a feature on renewable energy. In Thorold, I'm Mike Balsam reporting for The Source.